Good morning, guys. It's Monday. I have to go to class. I have to do a presentation. It's going to suck. So, I'll see you guys in a few. It's kind of cold out this morning. So, we'll deal with it. So, I'm not sure how I feel about this presentation this morning. <laughs> I'm just not ready. Well, I'm ready, but I just don't feel like doing it. Even if I am ready. So, I wore shorts this morning. And it's actually really cool. It's 52 degrees, so I'm chilly right now. I wasn't expecting it to be this cool right now. So I'm kind of shivering. I'm going to warm up before I do my presentation. Well, I'm out of class now, and they love my presentation. <laughs> I'm afraid, I'm, I, see, I, I'm actually really funny when I get in front of a class. I don't know how or why, but I really am. So uh, I got up there, and I got like 19, 20 questions or something like that. I was like, what is this, 21 questions anyway? So I had people ask me, First, first question I got when I when I was comparing the hybrids and the uh, um, the hybrid cars and electric cars compared to that of the gasoline cars. Then one guy, the first question I got was, "What do you drive?" And I said, "A Chrysler 300 <laughs> with a V8." So you know, I do my part. So he, one person asked me, he said, "If somebody gave you a hybrid car and said that you can keep your Chrysler 300." He said, would you drive the hybrid? I told him, I said, I'd drive both. <laughs> I said, if I got both, I'm gonna drive both of them. But that's a stupid question. Like that, a lot of these questions were pretty stupid, but we had fun with it. So, one guy asked me about motorcycles. I'm like, this is about cars. But I didn't say that. I was like, I'll look into it. I'm not gonna look into it. So anyway, um, I thought that was good. But uh, a lot of questions I got, like, Oh, Yoda, talk funny I do. Gosh, he put my sentences backwards. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. Anyway, I got a lot of questions. I did. <laughs> so, I'm going to chill in the class. I mean, in this car. So, I'll see you guys in a few. And there goes Matt. You guys know Matt. He's been with me before. Screw, 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 screw. You know, guys, I absolutely adore squirrels. I don't know what it is about them, but I love them to death. Like, I can't get enough of squirrels. I can get enough of them, but... It's not like I was obsessed with squirrels. Like, I want squirrels for everything, but... Like, every time I see a squirrel, I'm just like... So, I guess I do have ADHD. I've kind of hit it, hidden it, but... I don't think I have ADHD, because I'm not hyper. I think I just have ADD. I think I just have ADD. Because I can't pay attention sometimes, so. Where was I? <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, anyway, so I'm just gonna chill in the car because I don't really have anything to do, and I don't feel like taking a nap because I don't. I won't want to wake back up. So I guess we will sit here and look at stuff on the phone or something. So I want something to eat, but it's too early. Nothing's open. It's only like 9:20, five, and. Nothing is open for lunch. So, I'll just go to my next class and then go get something to eat. I guess. So, one of the questions I got was, uh, how do you think that, because the pictures I, I used for the uh, slide, on, on the first slide I had a picture of a 2011 Challenger SRT8, which is a highly aesthetic car. And then I had the Prius, which is a uh, car. So, I had those two cars, uh, pictures on the front page. Oh, the first slide, and uh, late at the, at the end, one of the guys asked me, uh, "How do you feel that uh, s sports cars like the Challenger compared? Uh, I mean, like sports cars compared to that of aesthetically compared to that of uh, hybrids?" And I told him, I said, "You know, they really don't. They, and I'll be honest, they really don't." I said, "But if you want to see a really aesthetic car, I said, has anybody in here ever seen the BMW i8?" And I said, no, but nobody said anything. I said, well, this is a very highly aesthetic car. I said, would you guys like to see a picture? And of course they said, yeah. Who, who doesn't want to see a picture of a highly aesthetic electric car? So I pulled up the picture of the BMW i8. And they were like, that's an electric car? And I was like, that's an electric car. So there's no doubt that electric cars are starting to become more popular. And somebody said, the same guy asked me, the guy, this guy asked me like nine questions. Anyway, he asked me uh, about price for hybrid cars. 
And I told him, I said, hybrids are cheap compared to a lot of gasoline cars. I mean, look at the new, the new Prius is $23,000. This car right here, brand new, $45,000, $47,000. Hybrids are cheaper. Do your research. Anyway, so I'll show you guys a picture that I... So this is the BMW i8. This is the one I said was highly aesthetic, and it really is. This is probably one of the best looking hybrid cars there are. I mean, I mean electric cars, but it's just, I want one of these. Bad thing is, this one costs almost 200 grand. Of course it is a Beamer, so what do you expect? Where everybody on campus is on their cell phones at one time, it just seems like the, the, the like the 3G on campus is just so slow because everybody and their brother's uncle is on their, on their phone on campus on 3G. Uh, that's why whenever I get a chance I'm connected to Wi-Fi. But even at this far away from the building, like, let me show you. This is how far away from I am from the building that has Wi-Fi. Over there. It doesn't exactly compute for speed over here. <laughs> so I'm out of class. I'm getting ready to go get something to eat. But the weather report today said that there was no chance of rain, like zero. <laughs> so, and I swear it's gonna rain. There's no doubt in my mind that it's gonna rain. It's just so many clouds right now <laughs> that it signify rain. So I got so bored in chemistry today. Just can't pay attention in there. I'm just so done with it. It's just to the point where no return for me. I'm just gonna fight my way through it, I guess get what I get in it and then switch out of the whole program because I'm tired of chemistry frankly frankly my dear I don't give a dang anyway so I'm gonna go to this pizza place down here and get something to eat some pizza and I get two slices for like four dollars good deal good deal so I just spotted my favorite car in town uh, I pointed at him to signify that I liked his car he just smiled Anyway, it's a 2012 um, Dodge Charger um, SRT with the blue strap. I'll show you a picture later if I remember to. But it's nice. I was thinking about getting the same, same strap for my car, but I don't know about it yet, <laughs> considering I'm low on cash. So I'm out of class now, and I went by the bank, and they still don't have my debit card. And I want my debit card because I'm tired of using cash. So I'm, I'm wasting more money using a change that I don't, like, piling up a change that I don't use. And that could make dollars, and dollars would be in my banking account, and I could use it for my debit card. So, I hate using change, so. The only time I ever use change is at the car wash, and I don't need a car wash right now. So. And if I have it laying around, I will wash my car a hundred times a week. So. <laughs> anyway. So, I'm going to go in the gym. Work out. And then come back out and then we'll go home take a shower and get ready to go to see the Harlem Globetrotters so I just left the gym and I got almost to the house and I remembered I had to go to the, back to the bank and get my debit card because they called me and told me I had, I had it they closed at 5 I couldn't, I couldn't have took my shower and came back so the deal is is that I've got to go back now and then go back home and then come back over here well I guess so I saw this I've never seen this many times I've come through here I've never seen this little pond over here so I've got to come get some pictures of this so I parked my car up there I hope nobody gets in it I locked it but I part also parked on private property so maybe the guys are okay with it I'm not gonna be going long Tennessee should be all right with it. it's getting swampy down in here yeah. she was getting wet yeah, it's wet down here. This is the pond. This looks cool. So this is actually a Civil War res uh, um, I don't know what, I can't think of the word. Uh, preservation. Pretty cool. So I'm trying to get a picture of this uh, field right here. Um, but the sun is behind that third cloud and I can't get it. Hope this guy don't get mad at me for being over here, but it's a different road, so kind of cool. I don't know. I think it should be all right. I saw somebody with pink hair. Anyway, I spent like 
10, 15 minutes looking for the tickets at home. My mom had cleaned my dresser and put them in a shoebox under my bed. It's like, what are you doing? Come on, get it together. Anyway, so I'm going to go pick up, I'm getting ready to go pick up Zach. And then we're going to head to, um, see the, we're going to go grab something to eat and then go see the Globetrotters. So, I'm running late. I'm like, I'm already 10 minutes late, so. Oh well, we'll be on time. We've got an hour and forty, uh, an hour and fifteen minutes till it starts, so surely we can get eat and get down there by that time. So I picked up Zach, and anyway, we're, we were in Johnson City, and this this guy pulls up beside me and him in this car, and he looks over at me, and I have my radio up, and I turned on the radio. He was talking, and I said, "What'd you say?" He said, "Bill Jones built that car." And I'm like, "Who's Bill Jones?" He said, "Bill Jones and Irwin built that car." I said, "You sure about that?" And he said, "Sure about that." And the light changed, and I went on. I've been sitting here trying to figure out who the heck Bill Jones is and why he was touching my car. I have no idea.
So I'm running through the mall trying to get in champs before they close at 9 in about 3 minutes. <laughs> basketball shorts and I found a good deal within six minutes that's quick so I just left the gym me and Zach went to the gym and shot some basketball we played a couple games and my shins are absolutely killing me I've got to take a couple days off I couldn't even hardly run up, or up and run up and down the court I couldn't hardly jog up and down the court I had actually had trouble walking uh, back to the car if that tells you anything it's pretty bad so, I'm going to go home, do my chemistry homework, and go to bed. Uh, take a shower and then go to bed. I'm not going to upload the vlog tonight because I'm not going to have time. I want get to get to bed a decent time. So, I'll do that tomorrow before I go to work. So, yeah. So, these are the shorts I got. Uh, I got them half off. They were $17.50. So, not a bad deal. I'm going to put up these clothes, take a shower, go to bed. Yeah, tired, really tired. Well guys, I uh, took my shower, I'm getting ready to go to bed, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing, well being part of me seeing uh, the Harlem Globetrotters. So, hope you enjoyed the footage from that. I'll include all that good stuff tomorrow, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.